Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to feature other YouTube channels on your YouTube channel. And you're probably thinking, that doesn't even make any sense. Why would I want to feature other channels who I'm probably competing with and help them? Um, believe it or not, it works. <laughs> it helps. Um, having a YouTube channel is, is not, even though we call them our competitors, they're really not we're not really competing with each other, if that makes sense. It's a community where people help each other, and this is one way of doing it. You feature them on your channel. Let me go ahead and show you what this looks like, all right? I'm gonna take you to my channel, and if you look here, off to the right, you can see where I have featured a few different YouTube channels, and it just pops up on my homepage. So if you go to that page, you can see it over to the right. Now, right here, I have it titled Other Awesome Channels. When you go in there, I'm gonna show you how, but when you go in there, it's going to say Featured Channels, and we're gonna talk about how you can change it and why you might want to change it. So while I show you how to do it, I'm also gonna share a few tips and how to make it better and how to do it, you know, in a strategic way. You don't wanna just start throwing a bunch of channels on there just so you can say, look, I have all these featured channels. One of the things you wanna make sure is that those channels are within your niche. So I'm gonna give you an example. Here is uh, Nick Nimmons, let's go to his. All right, what he has chosen to do, he's really big with YouTube, one of my favorite channels to watch, very knowledgeable. So I do recommend that you follow him. But look down here, what he did is he said, learn more about YouTube. Every single one of the channels that he has listed there are all about YouTube and how to promote YouTube, how to start your own YouTube channel. Uh, some of them talk about different uh, equipment that you can use, so he has, focused all of his channels in one niche and they all match his niche. So that's one strategy that you can use. You want your feature channels to somehow be related with your channel. Now I know sometimes when you're in a niche, um, there's a lots of different angles that you can go and I realize that. So you've got to decide how you want to make them all connected. Like I said, Nick has decided that they're all about YouTube. Here's another one. This one is Sunny Leonard Ducey. Leonard Ducey. Now, she talks a lot about YouTube and how to be your own boss in your business. She talks a lot about Instagram and things like that, but she has chosen recommended channels, and all of these are more about mindset. So she picked that niche there. Maybe she goes in and changes it every once in a while. I don't know, but that could be a strategy. You could have a list of different videos um, grouped different channels that you want to feature at different times and change it up and see what happens. But coming in here, people might say, you know, I like watching that um, TED channel. That's pretty cool. We both have that association. And that's kind of what happens is you gain authority by association. People see that you're associated with somebody that they like, and then therefore they'll start to like you. It's just called association by authority, authority by association. All right, let's go back and let's find out how you do it. I'm gonna go through the steps with you on how you can actually place those featured channels on your homepage on your channel. So you wanna go into your little icon up in the right, you've done that before, and instead of going to your YouTubes, you wanna to go to your channel. So you're gonna make your changes from the channel page. Now, once you're in there, you're gonna go under Customize Channel. So you're gonna uh, select this little Customize Channel at the top. And you can see over here, if I scroll down, these are my featured videos. Now, like I said, when you go in, it's going to say Feature channels. Mine says other awesome channels. You can change that heading and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But right up here in the top right hand corner, there's a little edit page, whether you're adding new ones or moving them around or um, deleting them, this is where you're going to do it. So you're going to go ahead and hit edit module. Now you can remove the whole module if you would like. If you don't want to feature any and you don't even want that feature there at all, you can remove it. Now these are some that I added, six of them. Let's say that I want to move them around because one of the things I recommend is to put the most popular channels first. And Nick Nimmin is very popular, so I could, um, I probably want to leave him there. But let's say I want to move Aaron um, up in here. I just kind of on the left side there. See, see where that little 
Snowflake showed up, I can move Aaron around. See how that happens? Uh, let's say I want to move Sunny down here and Aaron second. So um, you can play around with your order. So don't be afraid if, you know, down the road you start watching somebody that's extremely popular in your niche and you really want to have that authority by association, you can always add their name and always move them up closer to the top. So you definitely want to fill this widget up as high as you can and keep it filled up. And you also want to put the most noticeable people at the top because what I mean by that is if they have a lot of followers like Nick Nimmons, Nimmin, <laughs> if they have a lot of followers, then they're going to be more recognizable to other people. And you want to make sure people see that when they come to your channel so that they can, can associate you with them. All right. So that's one of the things you want to do. If you decide you want to delete somebody, let's say right here, um, Miles Beckler is somebody I like to watch, but um, I do a lot of affiliate marketing videos and a lot about YouTube. He does a lot with blogs and websites. While that's important and I still want to follow him, do I want him being in my feature channels? And let's say I decide not to. I want to uh, make it more about affiliate marketing and YouTube. So I can just go up here and hit that little X and that removes him from my channel. Now, how do you add them? What you need to do is go to their channel and then put their URL right here and then select add. So let's go find somebody. Um, I actually have a folder that I saved and there's some of the YouTube people that I follow. And let's say I want to add uh, Buildapreneur. Buildapreneur is a, it's uh, Spencer Meekum and Spencer does a lot with affiliate marketing. So I definitely want to be associated with Spencer. So I'm going to copy his URL here at the top and then I'm going to go back to uh, where I'm going to add the channels to the section and then just click add and then that will add him in there as well. There you go. He has an icon or a little logo instead of his face there. So maybe in the future, you know, I might want to put somebody else there, but that's what you do. All right. Two more tips I want to give you, so don't leave. Um, one of the things is you can change the title of your section. So let's, this says other awesome channels. Maybe I want to say um, affiliate marketing channels. And now, of course, then if I did that, I want to remove the ones that don't apply, but I could name it anything I want. Okay. So think about that. Um, and then you're going to select done and they'll all show up over here and see how they're, uh, Aaron now is in, uh, in order right after Nick, it changes it. And it's that easy to change. Just hit that little pencil up in the corner, edit it, and you can make all your changes. Now, I want to give you one more tip. One of the things that you can do to help you associate with each one of the channels that you add is send them a little note you, um, saying, hey, I just featured you on my channel. And before you say all that, I mean, you don't really want anything in return, but it's nice to let them know how you feel about their channel. So you could say, you know, I've, I've watched your channel. You've really helped me a lot because obviously you're featuring them because you've gotten something from their channel and you want people to see that you're associated with them. That's just kind of a natural um, connection. And just send them something. You could make a little note on one of their recent videos. You could go to their website and say something there in the comment section or contact them. You could go on to social media if you notice that they're on Instagram or Facebook. Find out where they hang out and send them a note and say, I just featured you on my YouTube channel. Now, chances are the larger their channel is, the less likely they will probably respond, but it's pretty cool to let them know that you featured them. And it just gives you another, hopefully another little connection. Um, I would suggest as well, I know I said to, to hit those top um, channels that people recognize, but if you notice when you start hitting six or seven down, people don't see those right away, I would recommend reaching out to other channels that are smaller, that are in the same niche, and let them know that you featured them. And those people are going to be more likely to write back and say, hey, 
I went ahead and featured you as well, because then you're really helping each other, the small channels helping each other. So I hope these tips were helpful. Um, let me know below if they were, if there's a favorite channel that you have that you would like to feature on your channel, let us know which one it is so we can all see who it is and maybe start following them ourselves. Um, I'll see you on the next um, video. And before you go, make sure you hit the link below for my free ebook that I just put together. It's affiliate marketing, a four, four step plan that you can go through and actually get your affiliate marketing business up and running. And of course I will, I have another course coming out soon that will show you how to get started on YouTube to help your affiliate marketing business. All right. I'll see you on the next video and thanks for watching.